One of the beauties of Shimano's DI2 system is that the shifting is extremely easy. There are two buttons on each shifter, one for an upshift, one for a downshift. They've also eliminated the brake lever moving as they've used with their mechanical systems for years. The push on either lever is very short, very easy to do. One of the things you'll quickly notice with DI2 is that as you shift through the cogs in the rear, the front derailleur will automatically trim to prevent any chain rubbing on the, on the cage. The front derailleur is extremely powerful. It shifts under, under a load extremely well and very quickly and always the same. As I said, you'll never find any degradation of shifting provided there's no damage to the system. One of the, the real benefits of electronic shifting is that the very first shift you make once it's set up will be, will be the same forever. It always shifts exactly the same way. There's no change, no degradation in shifting due to cables wearing or any dirt or grit infiltrating the cable housing. It should shift the same year, two years from now as it does today. On the rare occasions the battery for your DI2 system needs to be charged. It removes from the frame quite easily, pops out into a separate battery charger which is provided with the frame. Pinarello's system has a separate set of water bottle bosses below the standard ones on the down tube to allow for the cage to be fitted. Some of the other manufacturers will use a longer water bottle cage which is, requires it to be attached with zip ties. This eliminates the need for that. Battery goes in and out very quickly and easily. You should be needing to charge this probably no more than every two to three months. Shimano, I believe, recommends about a thousand, uh, about every thousand miles. Your battery charge can be checked with the control box up here on the brake cable. With Pinarello's, with Pinarello's electronic ready frames, all of the cable is run internally, so there's very little chance of having any damage to it. Your junction box is inside the bottom bracket. For more information on Shimano's Ultegra Di2 Grupo and Pinarello's Quattro, please visit your local Pinarello dealer.